Hey, what's up? It's Matt again, and uh, I heard that you were looking to build a uh, flight simulator PC and need to know what the specs are that you should be using. So, let's jump right in. I've got some awesome things going on. This is going to be a banger of a video, so make sure to hit that like and subscribe button because you're going to want to see the other videos that are coming along with this. All right. So let's talk about uh, your PC or your Mac for your flight simulator and would like to know what specs, one, that my system is, and two, uh, what maybe recommended specs I have. So all you need to do is go to the X-Plane 12 site or the Microsoft Flight Simulator site, go to one of those sites and search for the recommended PC specs. All right, that's all you have to do. So if you go to X-Plane 12, okay, click on buy it up here at the top and then come down here and look for these minimum requirements. That's what I was looking for. So we want to see what the minimum requirements are. This is also going to give you the ideal hardware requirements. So there's the recommended and you're going to have your minimum hardware hardware requirements. Now, here's the uh, the the beauty of this whole thing is that's what you need right there. Uh, like everything that you want to know, like hey, what specs are you using in your PC build? Just go to the site, see what you need, maybe bump it up a little bit so you can future-proof your PC, and that's all you need. So we're going to go over a few of these things. Your CPU, you're either going to go with Intel or you're going to go with, uh, probably go with an AMD system, which is going to be your Ryzen 5, 7, or your 9. Um, you could also, with X-Plane, go with Apple Silicon, M1 chip, M2 chip. Um, there's a couple different M2 chips out as of the time of this recording, your M2 Max and your M2 Ultra. We'll talk about those coming up here in a little bit. Um, so uh, we also have memory. You can go with, with we're talking about RAM. Uh, for what I would recommend going with is maybe around 32 as of right now, but uh, the minimum and even the recommended hardware requirements are, are saying 16 to 24. Um, I, I don't think that X-Plane is quite as RAM heavy or RAM hungry as Microsoft Flight Simulator. Microsoft Flight Simulator is going to be requesting about 32 gigabytes. So um, we'll get to that here in a second. Um, your video card, as long as they're compatible with one of the two based on the one that you're using, because you're going to use either the uh, Core Intel or you're going to be using the AMD Ryzen, one of the two, but not both, right? So you just need to make sure that you have a compatible video card with the one that you are using and make sure that you have at least four to eight gigabytes of VRAM. You guys can come here, look through the video, the supported video cards, see what they're looking at. Your Apple Silicon, the AMDs, the NVIDIAs. Um, we're not gonna get too much into that here, but basically just pick one based on what your budget is and based on what CPU you are going with, all right? And then just go, okay, do I want a slightly, do I want a more budget friendly, a more medium budget or a higher budget? Okay, all right, operating systems, you got your Mac OS, Windows uh, is going to be 10 or 11. Um, with the Mac OS, you're going to be looking at 10.15 uh, or newer, so that's Catalina, Big Sur, or Monterey, um, which is, uh, let's come over here and look, let's get rid of that, and 10.15 uh, is Catalina. Pretty much, if you have an OS that's been updated any time since 2019, you're good, so you got Catalina, Big Sur, Monterey, Ventura, and Sonoma. I also have a cat here because he just loves to crash these videos. You guys have seen Oscar before, right? Oscar. But that's what you need. So start taking notes, write down what it is that you need, and basically go to one of the sites that I'm about to recommend and either buy it online or you're going to take it down to a local PC builder and you're going to build this PC with somebody in your backyard, okay? Normally, the people that you're buying it from will will buy will for less than for a hundred bucks or less, they will build your PC for you. That's all I did. Okay, well, let's look at the Microsoft Flight Simulator requirements. Um, so if you Google this, you're gonna end up with uh, on the Flight Simulator help desk site, and you're gonna end up with uh, like your minimum specs, your recommended specs here, and uh, your ideal specs, um, which are gonna be both broken down into AMD. Remember, we talked about AMD. Or NVIDIA. I ended up going the NVIDIA way. Um, I'm also using Windows 10. That's your minimum requirements. I have not upgraded to 11, but it's going to work fine. Uh, your minimum here is going to be Intel i7 uh, or the Ryzen 7. 
Um, I've got an i9 and uh, perfectly happy with that. Your NVIDIA RTX 2080 is going to be your minimum. Again, I've got the 3080. They've got 4080s and 4090s out nowadays. Um, so, you know, things have really advanced uh, just fine here. Um, this was originally posted in 2020 and updated as of July 29th. With the way things that are going with Microsoft Flight Simulator, uh, I would definitely get a 3080 or, or higher um, and run that, just run it really, really well. Um, so that way you can get the best graphics. Microsoft Flight Simulator is going to get you that right now. Okay, by the way, if you guys haven't seen uh, my video on whether you should be using X-Plane or Microsoft Flight Simulator, click the video up here in the corner and uh, go watch that as well. That way you can kind of get an idea. Really, the PC build or Mac build or what you're going to be doing with your system really comes down to which, uh, uh, which actual flight simulator software it is that you're going to end up using in the first place. So make sure that you start there and understand which one you want to use and then start building your PC or your Mac around that, okay? So let's uh, let's go with that. VRAM, eight gigabytes. You're gonna end up with about 12 if you go with a, a 3080 or higher uh, RAM. Uh, we talked a little bit about this already, but 32 gigabytes of RAM is gonna be your minimum. Um, uh, with uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator, you can probably get away with 16 to 24 with X-Plane, all right? Uh, hard drive space, I would get at least one, one terabyte. This is like 15% of a terabyte here. Um, so make sure you've got some space. I would do one or two terabytes um, if you can. If you get a PC, get a two and a two. That way you've got two terabytes as your, your primary drive and two as your backup, all right? I think if you have an internet connection, you're probably good. But if you wanna, have, you wanna break it out, make sure you've got a good internet connection, 50 megabytes or more. You're going to be, as you're flying in and out of zones, you're going to be downloading. That's why you need internet here, because it's going to be downloading and uploading content as it needs as you're flying in and out of space. Okay. Uh, the big thing that I wanted to talk about was the integrated graphics. Um, I ended up going with the Intel Core i9. You can get this in an i5, i7, i9, um, or you can get the Ryzen in, the fi in a 3, 5, 7, and a 9. And... Uh, the biggest thing that stopped me from getting the AMD, going the AMD route, was the integrated graphics. I wanted integrated graphics for the G5s, the, fi the GNS 530, the GNS 430. I wanted that capability so it wasn't tying up my, uh, my uh, RTX 3080, okay? Um, which was not an issue with the Intel Core, I, I, Intel Core i9, but it was an issue with the Ryzen 9, okay? I would recommend... Uh, either a MacBook Pro, uh, going with the MacBook Pro, uh, whatever size you want, but you're going to want the M2 Max chip most likely here. Um, now, what I kind of recommend uh, more so, especially with a flight simulator, something that's going to be sitting around, probably not going to be mobile, and you're going to have a lot of things connected to it, is the you're going to want to go with your Mac Studio option here. All right, it's going to give you... Uh, support for up to five monitors. If you go with the Max chip, if you go with the Ultra chip, you're going to have support for up to uh, eight monitors. Why you would need that, I'm not sure, but you're going to have a lot of stuff plugged into this. You're going to have uh, powered USB hubs. You're going to want to plug in a lot of monitors, uh, most likely, or at least a few. If you have a, a, a wraparound, you're going to have your forward, you're going to have your two on the left and the right. You might end up having, like mine, I've got a touch screen and a screen over on the side. And then I've still got my integrated graphics card running the 530 and the 430 and the 2G5. So I've got a lot of stuff going on. So you're going to end up with uh, probably the M2 chip, I would say, here. Uh, if you want to go a little bit more overkill and have that future proof, you can always get the Ultra. Um, you're going to spend, spend a little bit more money on that. Um, but the big thing you're looking at here is support uh, for the displays, okay? So do that, go uh, hit the buy button, build one of these things out, see how it's gonna look, hit that select button, and just, you know, play around with it, see what you can do, the 64, make sure that it fits inside of your budget. I can put this up to two terabytes, I can upgrade the CPU, I can upgrade the 64 gigabytes of RAM, and it's still sitting around 3,199, which honestly, not that bad. Let's look at uh, the alternative options here, uh, and that is real sim gear, 
uh, and, or uh, some or a site like X-Force PC. You can go to these sites, you can build your PC, and then they ship it to you when they're done. So if you want to go to a site like Real Sim Gear, and remember the, the specs are coming straight from x site. They're coming straight from the Microsoft Flight Simulator site. That's what you're looking for. But these guys already built these uh, systems to spec. So if you go to Real Sim Gear, just search, go to the search bar, and just type PC, and you'll get an idea of what you're looking for here. You can get your RTX 4070, which is going to come with the i7 chip, or the RTX 4070 Ti for a little bit more money, just a little bit. Um, and that's going to come with your i9 chip, all right? It's also going to come with an upgraded power supply. If you want to see more, just scroll down. It's going to tell you exactly what comes in there, okay? Take notes. Write down exactly what's coming inside of these CPUs that can be built by hand, all right? If you don't want to buy these through uh, these sites, nothing against Real Sim Gear. These guys are going to do an awesome job for you, I promise you. But if you don't want this system going through the shipping system, if you don't want UPS... FedEx, DHL, handling your computer the way that they probably will be handling it, and you want to have more control over this, you want to be able to go down and have uh, somebody in your backyard or somebody in your hometown at a computer shop build one of these things, then write down what you need and take that list down to the computer builder and have them build out your system to spec. Everything you need is sitting right here. X-Force PC is another site that you can do this with, okay? Um, you can go to their systems, go to flight gaming systems, look at the systems that they have, get an idea based on your budget, see how much this thing costs, and click quick view for what, and this is just, I'm just picking a completely random system here. Um, but look through here and see what exactly they have, and then, okay, this one comes with a 4080 with 12 gigs, I need that, the 750 gold, gold rated power supply, um, Windows 11, it comes with a one year warranty. The warranties are great guys, but if you have to send your PC back, you're not gonna like it, okay? That's why I'm recommending getting something locally, all right? You can come down here and get a little bit of uh, customization options with the 4070, the 4070 Ti. Um, you can come down here, you can even upgrade uh, secondary drive and an initial drive, the color of your case, can be black or white um, so come in here play around with it again make sure that it fits within your budget if you like it buy through these sites it's okay all right these guys will help you out make sure to call these guys up before hitting the buy button and get your questions answered that's first and foremost the most important thing all right so go do that stuff um, and just enjoy your build um, make sure to check out these sites the x-plane site make sure to check out the flight simulator site Make sure to write down notes so that you know what's included. If you have questions about mine specifically, let me know. Um, I've talked about it in a few different uh, videos. Uh, you know, what's in mine. Um, I'll leave another link up here in the, the corner talking to you guys about uh, the, the flight simulator build as a whole, which I did go in and talk a little bit about the PC build. Not quite to this extent here. Um, I think that this is a pretty well-rounded um, video here really showing you what, what's the most important, what's gonna be the big thing that you need to really worry about. That's gonna be really the CPU, which kind of which CPU are you gonna get, your video RAM and your RAM, um, and then which video card are you gonna get. That's all I've got for you today. If you have questions, leave me a comment um, down in the comments, and I will talk to you guys soon. Hit that like and subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in another video. Take care.